Hello, first graders. Welcome to story time. Today, I'm going to read you a story called Stand Back, Said the Elephant, I'm Going to Sneeze. This story was written by Patricia Thomas and pictures by Wallace Tripp. This is a story about an elephant who had to sneeze and all the other animals were concerned. Let's read to find out what happened when and if he really did sneeze. Stand back, said the elephant, I'm going to sneeze. Stand back, said the elephant, I'm going to sneeze. I hate to alarm you, but I don't wish to harm you, my friends, I fear. It's clear, oh dear, you better stand back, I'm going to sneeze. Oh no, oh no, cried the buffalo, you're so big and strong, and your trunk is so long. Your sneezes send everyone flying along, thumping and thumping down the pathway and trail, bouncing and jouncing head over tail, tumbling and bumbling. Your sneeze is a gale or a hurricane. I hate to complain, but please don't sneeze. No, no, please don't sneeze, cried the monkey and the, the monkeys in the trees. You make us you make such a breeze when you sneeze. The last time you blew us right out of the trees. The branches began to bend and to sway, and some of us landed so far away. We didn't get back until the next day. The leaves all went whirling and tumbling and swirling, and the flowers shook for hours the last time you sneezed. Even a cough would knock some of us off. Oh, please don't sneeze. With a shriek, the parrot opened his beak. The elephant said, he's going to sneeze. Oh, elephant, please, cried the birds in the trees. The last time you sneeze, we lost every feather. We didn't know whether we ever get back together. Every parakeet was bare as a sheet from his head to his feet. What's more, all the whales had peacock tails and the wings of a cockatoo. We're stuck, on the ca we're stuck on the kangaroo. You must confess, it was quite a mess. Very confusing and not too amusing. Even a snuffle will make our feathers ruffle. Oh, please, don't sneeze. Fly, fly, call the birds and to the bees. The elephant says he's going to sneeze. Oh, no, buzz the bees. Not a sneeze, not a sneeze. The last time he blew off our stings, as well as our wings, we had to make do with rose thorns and glue. Furthermore, what a shock. We all had to walk on our knees, if you please, and that's hard on bees' knees. While our wings grew back in, what a sin. Oh, please don't sneeze. Beware, beware, call the bees to the bear. The elephant says he's going to sneeze. Oh, please, not a sneeze, cried the bear. That's not fair, I declare. The last time he sneezed, he blew off all my hair and left me so bare. I spent the whole winter in long underwear. Nothing so bad as a bear that is bare. The poor giraffe, don't laugh, almost bent in half, and the crocodile's snout was turned inside out. The last time he sneezed, a sniff or a snuff is bad enough, but a sneeze, oh, please don't sneeze. I don't suppose you could hold your nose or wait a while, asked the crocodile with a sad little smile. Oh, my, don't try, said the fly. We wish, said the fish, you could if you... You would, if you could, the last time you blew off all of our scales from our head to our tails. And our gills got the chills. Our skin is so thin. If you do it again, we'll freeze. Oh, please, don't sneeze. The zebra yelled, yikes, you'll blow off all my stripes, plus lots and lots of leopard spots and all of the snakes will be tied in knots. The hippopotamus said, a lot of us will fall right 
on our bottom us if you sneeze. So please don't sneeze. I'm sorry, my friend, said the elephant sadly about all of this. I do feel badly. If I could keep from sneezing, I'd do it gladly. But I have such a twitch in my trunk and an itch, plus a bit of a tickle and even a prickle. You must run, fly, and hop. I'm afraid I can't stop. I would if I could, but there's nothing to do. Uh, uh, boo, shouted a little gray mouse, jumping out of the house. He stood right up on his little tiptoes, snuck, stuck out his tongue, and wiggled his nose. Eek, shouted the elephant, jumping in the air. That's a mouse. That's a mouse standing there. I must hide in a tree before he gets me or jump in the lake, for goodness sake. Don't scare me, please spare me. The mouse laughed, oh, poo, now what could I do? A little thing like me to a big thing like you, I only wanted to give you a scare and it worked as sure as you're standing there. Elephant, think about it, please. You completely forgot to sneeze. Well, what do you know? cried the elephant. That's so. It's astounding, confounding. And as I live and breathe, I don't think I really have to sneeze. He began to giggle. <laughs> That's the funniest thing that has happened to me. <laughs> the elephant shook from his, shook from his head to his toe. He ho ho and ha ha. He giggled and guffled. He chorted and chuckled until his knees buckled. He sat down and rolled from side to side. In fact, the elephant laughed till he cried. He laughed till the ground was shivering and shaking and all of the trees were quivering and quaking. The monkeys came tumbling out of the trees and the stings fell off every one of the bees. The birds' feathers went flying to goodness knows where, and all of his hair fell off of the bear. The giraffe bent in half, and the crocodile's snout turned inside out. The fish lost their scales from their heads to their tails. The zebra yelled, yikes, there goes my stripes, while the hippo went bump right on his plump. You know what? And into a puddle, the mouse went plurpop. Then he sh sat up and shouted, this simply must stop. We're terribly glad that you don't have to sneeze. But if you must laugh, laugh softly, oh elephant, please.